Hey guys, what's going on? Kel back here once again, representing the 40 Call YouTube channel, bringing you another Warhammer 40,000 related video. Today, we're going to have a look at an article uh, that is on the Warhammer community page and is all about FAQ. Uh, FAQ for July 2020 and FAQs for 9th edition moving forward. Okay. Um, hopefully there's going to be some questions answered here about what FAQs are going to look like in the future, how regular they're going to come out. Haven't read the article, so we're going to read through it together. But before that, as always, guys, big shout out to everyone who subscribed to the channel up to now. The channel has grown um, so much in the first month. I got a little notification from um, YouTube today it, telling me and Carl um, how much the channel's grown, like how many subs you get in a month, how many... Uh, thousands of minutes you guys have watched, how many comments you've put up, how many likes you've put up. It is really good, guys. Thank you very much. I won't go on too much, but let's just say it's massively appreciated. If you're new to 40 Call, we post Warhammer 40,000 content every single day. Things like news reviews, hints and tips, patent videos, and battle reports um, all in due time. Uh, we've done faction focus videos, we've done law videos, we've done uh, FAQs, we've done all sorts. So if you like everything uh, 40k related, then join 40 call, uh, and we do stuff every day. Now a little um, heads up about today, guys. There's going to be a lot of videos coming out today. Um, there's going to be like three or four videos coming out today. One of them will be um, an article on the points difference from eighth and ninth edition. So if you're interested to see the points increase or decrease for your army, stick around today because that video will come out sometime today. But with that said. Let's get the new edition updates for your army FAQs. So, raring to get stuck in with the new edition of Warhammer 40,000. Good news. To ensure your first battle in the new uh, bold era of Indomitus goes as smoothly as possible, the Warhammer Studio have produced some rules updates designed to get your army in the fight. Starting with a bit of artwork here, we've got um, Imperial Fists. The, the Imperial Fists, the new stuff, the Blade Guard veterans look really good in the yellow. Imperial Fist players, um, I've seen some colour schemes that, for me personally, don't fit well with the new stuff. I saw someone, I don't know whether it was experience or what, but with the Blade Guards, I saw someone do them in a Raven Guard colour scheme. Honestly, didn't like it. Imperial Fist colours, quality. Um, and then we've got a Redemptive Dread, Repulsor, some Hell Blasters and stuff going up against um, some horrible um, Nurgle creatures. So here's a word from the Warhammer Studio themselves. The new edition of Warhammer 40,000 has arrived and it's packed with exciting new rules, mechanics and features. If you are a veteran Warhammer 40,000 player, then you will no doubt be poring over these. Uh, devising fresh tactics and modifying your strategies in light of all these changes. When writing a core book, we know that there would be some rules printed in existing publications that were not quite as we originally intended them, and there uh, might be some that do not work at all. Indeed, we try to cover off many potential questions and odd rule interactions in the rules appendix of the core book itself. Where you can the list of units gain the aircraft uh, keyword and which weapons gain the blast rule. If you have any questions that arise during your game, we recommend you first consult these pages of the book for your answers. Okay, makes sense. In addition to the updates and clarifications found in the, in the rules appendix, you will also find that we have revised our range of Warhammer 40,000 FAQ documents on the Warhammer community website. The structure of these revised documents makes it easy to tell at a glance what changes are related to new edition, with updates to rules highlighted in blue and marked with an asterisk. These updates are designed to make our existing publications work alongside the new edition as intended and bring existing FAQ entries in line with the rules and terminology found in the new core book. On a few occasions, this has even meant deleting a rule that is now redundant. Don't worry. Uh, where we have done that, it is because the core rules enable the unit to do that thing already. And the deletion is simply to help avoid any confusion that might arise. In addition to rules updates, some of these documents contain new FAQ entries answering questions that we feel uh, might be common within the community when the new edition launches. These are rules that still function as written. 
but we have clarified exactly how they interact with the new edition rules. Okay, so it's basically the, the what Games Workshop have done. They've gone through, saying there's a lot of rules, and just um, simplified them and made them easier to understand, basically. So once you open them up, you'll notice that there are blue and pink text in the docs. The pink text shows any new updates since the last update, while the blue text highlights changes made specifically for the update to the new edition. You'll also see a new rules update for the Edge of Silence book, which we just wanted to include now to clear up any confusion around Storm Shields. Okay, so we have a, a quick overlook, guys. So the one at the front, which you can see all of it really, uh, the appendix, the deck we have the blue writing, which would be the core rules, and the pink, which could be uh, the changes. So um, if you need any sort of questions answered on past FAQs uh, and the new rules, uh, Games Workshop have basically made it easy to read. Cool. Can't really complain with that. With that, everything should be in line for the new edition. We'll still be keeping the hashtag new 40k balanced with regular updates too. So stay tuned and send us feedback via uh, 40kfaq at gwplc.com. Let us know how your first game goes by posting on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook with hashtag new 40k. Okay, so quick and simple. Not what I thought it was going to be, but it's good that we did a quick video um, just to explain and find out where these rule changes are and where they are. I've seen some battle reports uh, where they are... Uh, how do I say this without being horrible? Where they are inexperienced. Let's just say that. With the new edition. Um, the new edition has only been out like like a week, right? So people's going to be um, like still learning is what I'm trying to get at. However, where well, you can clearly see that from Battle Port or Battle Port or Battle Port, some rules in the new edition are do cause confusion. Specifically, some of the terrain rules cause confusion. And it's hard to get round. So I think... Some of this new stuff that is in the new edition will be FAQ'd quickly. Some of the, what I'm trying to say is, or one example is, sorry, um, there was a unit of, I'm trying to think what they're called now, a unit of devastators that could clearly see, they were on the ground level, clearly see over some containers could see a knight, okay? Now by the, the word of the rule, the devastators could quite happily shoot the knight but the knight couldn't shoot back because the knight was a certain height over the height of the containers. And the wording of the rule just meant that the, the knight would have to move around the containers, even though it could see quite clearly to shoot, which is which was a bit weird. Um, but hopefully in the future, um, some rules get tweaked slightly or corrected. But here we have an article where there's some writing in blue, writing in plink, so we can, we can get the answers we need easy. So that's going to be it, guys. Anyone out there who has the new edition, what rules have you come across that don't quite work? What rules have you come across that might you think might be FAQ'd? Anyone else um, seen some battle reports of interest and where they've played really well? Um, leave some comments, guys. I would love to click on a link and go to a battle report that just flows really nicely in 9th edition and um, say you played well. Um, so leave a link if you can there or a comment. But that's going to be it, guys. We are 40 Corp. If you're new to the channel, we post Warhammer 40,000 content every single day just like this. Thank you very much for watching. If you're here to the end, please like the video. It does a small channel loads of good. And if you want to uh, subscribe to the channel, that would be fantastic. There'll be several videos going up today. Uh, one will definitely be um, points changes from 8th and 9th edition, so keep an eye out for that. Uh, and actually, I might go do that now and put this one up, edit this one, and then go do that one next, guys. But that's it. Leave some comments below, guys. This is Kel signing up for 40 Call, saying stay safe, look after each other, and until next time, guys, we'll see you all later.